Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 Advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and join, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Immediate Food Delivery Part 1 and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 17th video of this series called Immediate Food Delivery Part 1 and if I look at the companies this question has been asked this or do this a couple of times kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called delivery with four different columns delivery ID, customer ID, order date and customer preferred delivery date. Delivery ID is the primary key that is column with unique values of this table. This table holds information about the food delivery to the customers that make orders at some date and specify a preferred delivery date on the same order date or after it. If the customer's preferred delivery date is the same as order date, then the order is called immediate, otherwise it is called scheduled. We are asked to write a solution to find the percentage of immediate orders in the table rounded to two decimal places. Okay, so let's look at, so here we have about six records, right, of various delivery IDs, uh, the customer who ordered it, their order date and their preferred delivery date. So we need the percentage of immediate, that is order date is equal to the customer preferred delivery date. So how many of such rows we have that satisfy that? One, two, and that's it. So two out of six, that is one divided by three, that is 33.33% are the immediate percentage orders. So what we need to do in this case is we can try to count the total number of immediate delivery orders and then divide by the total number of records in this delivery table. And that is going to give you the percentage of immediate orders, right? So what we can do is from this table called delivery, what we need to do is firstly we need to find out so to calculate the percentage in the numerator you need the number of immediate delivery orders so return we need the number of immediate delivery and we have learned previously in this series as well as in the sql 50 series that how you can use the sum function to basically count things so what if i check for a condition that if your order date is equal to customer preferred delivery date then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero and if you sum that up so what will these rows will assign so this one will be assigned 0 1 1 and 0 0 0 so if you sum the entire thing it is going to be 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 0 0 that is going to be 2 and 2 is the number of immediate delivery orders right so you see how we can use the sum function to count basically so that is what we are going to do so check for the condition that if order date is equal to customer preferred delivery date let me just copy this so that is easier okay customer preferred delivery date then basically this is an immediate order so assign the value one else you assign the value zero because everything else is a scheduled delivery and once you have the ones and zeros assigned you simply sum this up so that is going to give you the count of total immediate orders okay and once we have this then we need to find out the percentage we simply need to divide this by the total number of orders and how to get that basically count star that is total number of records in this table and we also need to round this to two decimal places but for first we need to convert it this into a percentage so multiply it by 100 and then round this entire thing to decimal places and alias this as immediate percentage so if i just go ahead and copy and paste it here so immediate percentage okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it so we pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how to do it. Not a very difficult question. All we had to do was firstly identify the number of immediate orders and the way we did was use the sum function to perform a count of immediate orders by checking for a condition and assigning values such as ones and zeros. And then once we had the immediate orders, then we divided by the total number of orders that gave the percentage of immediate orders and we rounded to two decimal places. So this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.